Good day everyone. My name is Blanche Dias and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for the lovely support you've given me for my past videos and I hope that you will continue to like and subscribe those that are yet to come. A few days ago we celebrated Guru Purnima. This is the day when students call on their teachers to respect them and to thank them for being mentors. But it isn't just students who learn. It is all of us who learn every day through life's experiences. Some people seek gurus on the outside and others find them in the most unexpected places. I found mine in an old pencil holder at the corner of my writing desk. So I have to call this video, The Pencil is My Guru. You know, with the onset of Microsoft Word, not many people put pen to paper anymore. I am one of those rare individuals who love to write. When my hand encompasses a pencil, something just happens to me. I am reflective, I think, I mull over what I want to say, and then the words just flow. And this is the most important lesson that I have learned from the humble pencil. Never to be impulsive, to think before I want to write or say something. You know, they say that you can write the best speech when you're angry and regret it for the rest of your life. Well, the pencil has stopped me from doing that because I'm tactful, I think carefully, I never ever hurt people with abrasive language or coarse vocabulary. All because my pencil makes me stop and think. And who doesn't like a sharp point to start off your cursive font? As do I. I love to sharpen pencils, but I feel a little sad because with every sharpening, I feel that the pencil must be going through some pain, having all those layers repeatedly being peeled off. And isn't that like us? in life, when we have unpleasant experiences which bring us pain, we need, like the pencil, to sharpen our wits, sharpen our knowledge and awareness so that we don't repeat the same mistakes again. Oh, we all make mistakes, we are human, and that's why erasers are attached to pencils. You can always erase what you don't like about yourself and start anew. I can never resist entering a stationer store. I was there the other day and I saw this little girl. She was so excitedly choosing colorful pencils with her favorite Disney characters. And I so wanted to tell her that the best pencil depends on the quality of the graphite deep within. But she was too little for that, and I'm sure she learned that lesson by and by. It is not the exterior that counts. It is what we have deep within us. The most powerful, the most beautiful, the most sought after people are nothing if they don't have any worth deep within them. So we really ought to be doing away with the virtual and concentrating on the virtue. A pencil will always leave a mark and we too should lead our lives in such a way that we leave a mark, a legacy that will be remembered long after we are gone. And remember, when you write with a pencil, you don't grip it too hard or it might break. So also in life, when we come 
across difficult situations. Don't overstress because it will only break you. Stay calm, but be in firm control. Every time you sharpen a pencil, the life of the pencil shortens. It gets shorter, as does our life. With every passing year, we are nearer the end. Well, we don't know when that end will come. But like the pencil, which even a tiny stub will write up to the end, we too should live our lives in such a manner that we are fulfilled with a masterpiece when that last page has been turned. You know, we learn from life every day. There are miracles all around us. We just have to look and learn. There was a little song that my mother used to hum and I think it went like there is wonder in most everything I see and there is we just have to look for it when I ran this topic of this video by a friend he said you do think of the quaintest things don't you it never ever struck me that I could learn from the little things around me least of all, a pencil. And that, my friends, pun intended, is exactly the point.